PS Nutrack is an agricultural technology startup. Um, we started between myself and my co-founder and my partner Samson. Um, and what we do is we specialize in aeroponic technology. Um, aeroponics essentially growing plants in the air without soil. And it requires minimal water usage as well as minimal power usage and electricity. Um, and the way aeroponics works is that um, the roots essentially are suspended in the air and we provide mist and nutrients to the roots. So as you know, um, in conventional agriculture, um, you currently have to till the land, you have you know, various risks associated with growing in conventional soil, um, pests, droughts, inclement weather. And so with um, aeroponic technology, it's within a controlled environment in a greenhouse. So that way, all those risks are completely mitigated and um, we just provide the plants with the essential nutrients that it needs. And what this does is it reduces the time to harvest as well as increases the yield. Yes, we do. Um, we've set it up, we've currently set it up for individuals who are interested in delving into farming, as well as we currently do a pilot scheme, we're currently doing a pilot scheme with the Lego State Ministry of Agriculture for rice and tomatoes because they're looking to see how they can feed their growing population. As you know, Lagos State is a state with a huge population. I mean, if you look at agriculture in Africa, the average age of the farmer is about 60 years old, um, whereas, you know, the um, majority of the African population is under the age of 40. You know, so we have a huge youth population. Meanwhile, our farmers are aging. So we've realized that the key to actually engaging the youth um, especially in agriculture, is through technology, disruptive technology. You know, you have to make it hip and cool, you know, and that's really what's appealing to the youth. The youth don't want to go to the farm and, you know, do the backbreaking work and till the land and sweat for hours, you know, that's just not appealing to them, which is why you see them migrating in mass to urban areas. So it depends on the scale um, that, the client, that the client is trying to go. You can literally have a bucket in your house using this technology to meet your family's food and vegetable requirements. You know, so you can have a bucket of tomatoes to meet your, to meet your tomato requirements or your onion requirements and so forth. Or you can do large scale and build this greenhouse. Um, and that way, and what you actually have, it's not actually buckets, but it's PVC pipes. And that's where we actually plant. And there's a mister system in the PVC pipes that mist the nutrients to give it the essential nutrients that the plants need. Yeah, you can do that, you can do it in any space, literally. You can do it in a warehouse or you can even do it, some, a lot of people have land that they may not have money to, um, to develop. So you can literally set up a greenhouse on that land and, and deploy this technology on that greenhouse. We've actually done it for over 200 different plants and crops. Um, everything from your rice, to your tomatoes, to your onions, to your ginger to your carrots, um, you name it, we've, we've done it successfully on over 200 different plants and crops. And then you have stuff like um, flowers. Um, fresh, fresh cut flowers are a huge industry in East Africa, especially Kenya. It's a big source of um, foreign exchange for them. We could, we've also successfully done it for stuff like roses and um, you know, various other um, flowers you know, that, um, that are in heavy demand. 